Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Model Car Guy Rich here. I got another quick uh, unboxing for you. Picked this kit up at Alley's the other day. And I thought I'd do a real unboxing for you. So let me go ahead and cut her open. Maybe you'll hear music playing in the background, maybe you won't. Still working on that editing program. This is the 32 Ford Street Ride by Monogram, 125 scale. Oh, Sticker was underneath the plastic on that one. And here's the uh, side of the box. One of the ends. Some info on the uh, the kit itself. Another standard picture there. And pretty much no real information on the bottom there as far as what's in included in the kit. Talks about the skill levels of the builds. That's kind of nice. This one is listed as a 4, which is 12 years and plus. It includes gluing and painting to build the kit. Features up to 120 pieces. It requires glue, paint, and tools. Build time 5 plus hours, according to the folks over at Monogram which I don't even know who owns them anymore. Let's see if it says it on the box. Oh, there's a start. That's interesting. 2022 Revell. Interesting. It's a global project now. Alright. Let's see how we do here. Huh. A little fancy piece of cardboard to keep the box from collapsing on itself. I've seen that a couple of times in kits, m newer, newer kits. The old ones never had that. So we'll just put that over there. Right off the bat we got uh, two different size wheels. Obviously rears and fronts. No name on that side, no name on that side. So these are unbranded. Okay, molded in white. This here is tiniest little windshield you ever wanted to see. <laughs> a couple of headlights, and I don't know what that is. Could be. I'm not sure. We'll have to get into the kit and see what that is. Maybe I don't know. I'm not going to take any guesses on that one. I'm going to put my foot in my mouth again. You know. <laughs> There we go. I'll grab the scissors here and open this one up. Off to the side of the camera view there. Alrighty. First bag, we've got the body. Decent. This one, just like the uh, previous video with the 41 Plymouth, this body also feels really slick. So it's going to definitely need a good washing before any kind of paint gets done to it. Yeah, same with that one. No big deal. As long as you go in knowing ahead of time, you know. There's a V8 engine, some heads, some wheel backs, suspension parts. Intake manifold. Exhaust ma So, intake and exhaust manifolds, that's neat. Uh, a couple other wheel backs, some springs it looks like, dashboard. Not much to the dashboards of those vehicles back in the day. Firewall. Wheel, uh, inner wheel rings. This is the radiator. Two piece radiator. Some exhaust. Hood, side parts of the hood. Look like maybe some hoses. Rear end. Interior bucket which has the seats already molded in it. And a couple of push button things and brakes and gas pedal, accelerator pedal. And then well one bag of parts and one uh, bag of chrome. That's interesting. 
I think it was the uh, the Mobius kit that I built that pickup truck. It had 10 bags of parts in it. So that'll tell you a lot about the different companies. <laughs> that Mobius kit came with a ton of extra parts. Here's some chrome parts here. We got one style of wheels. So you're going to definitely, they're asking you to build this as a street rod. You'll have to go to your extra parts, parts bins and that to build it your own way, I guess. Front and rear bumpers. Nice looking grill. Rim for your windshield. Headlight. Uh, bracket and all that good stuff. A chrome steering wheel. That would be fun to drive in the summertime. Chrome air cleaner. Chrome valve covers. Obviously everything here is chrome. Whatever these are. Could be headlights. Maybe they're taillights. I'm not sure. Nope. They might be wheel covers maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Those are wheel covers. They'd obviously go in there. Alrighty. Nope. We've got some decals. Let's see. Oh, we got some flames. A shirt that's flamed. I guess you could lay that across the back of the vehicle in the uh, seat. California license plate here. I can't make out what the other one is. It's too small for my eyes. Maybe you guys can see it. Little deuce. That's cool. Some pinstriping. That's very nice. Couple of stickers, uh, decals. Alrighty, that's kind of neat. And then here's the instruction manual. Feels pretty thick. Nice layout of all the parts. Ledger, it's really sharp. Of course, the first page gives you a description of what colors you'd need to build it according to the box art. More parts. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit here. I think I got you too close. There, yeah, maybe that's a little better. There you go. Parts list. Build your engine. Attach the engine. Get your suspension for the front end, put your wheels together, the rear end build, gas tank, I didn't see that anywhere, uh, let me see if I can find that real quick, yep, there it is, there's your gas tank right there, got by me, alrighty, Pretty simple interior build. Lights. Nice. Put those together. Hmm. So you build your basic interior. And then they show you the chassis. And the next picture shows it already attached. So it's just implied that you have to put it on top of there, I guess. <laughs> Windshield. And the rear. Oh, those those weren't horns. They were the, the parking light or uh, brake light uh, assemblies. Okay. But I still didn't see that extra piece of glass. It might be just a spare part. Because that shows 25 is chrome, which would be the license plate holder. Alrighty. Well, there you go, folks. That's a 1932 Ford Street Rod. Please like, share, subscribe, and come back again. Thank you.